BNI founder and CEO. Bill, how are you this evening? I'm doing pretty great, Lonnie. Thanks. Glad you're here with us. And uh, my colleague, Steve Kushner, founder and director of Research and Development. Steve, how are you tonight? I'm doing well. Thank you very much. That's terrific. Well, I'll jump on since you introduced me first and hand it over to Steve. Before I begin, uh, Steve and I were talking earlier tonight. We got the IRB for our NSORB product approved. It took eight months, and the um, IRB board, the Institutional Review Board um, at the university, has approved our study protocol. But one of the researchers is doing a presentation at the Federation of Associated Societies for Experimental Biology Conference Symposium on February the 8th. And she would like to present, um, a, do a presentation on NSORB, which <laughs> I was taken aback that she asked that. And she would like to have not um, product experiences per se about what it has done, but simply that people have taken it and it has, you know, it's safe. They've you know, other than a detox reaction, which a lot of people have, and you can certainly identify that, um, she would love to have uh, case reports from people who've taken the NSORB and who've taken it over a period of time, months, you know, number of months, and the fact that it's safe. So I'm asking, and Steve, um, is this an okay idea? <laughs> I don't think, <laughs> no, you should never have mentioned it. No, it's <laughs> So I'm asking if anybody out there that's taken uh, the Enzorb and wouldn't mind, your name won't be mentioned, by the way. Um, it, I'm going to be sending out an, an affidavit that has some pre-scripted language that you can personalize if you want. But if you let me know that you're willing to um, fill out one of these affidavits and sign it so I can give it to the scientist and I have to write up a uh, sort of a research summary on this. It'll be kind of built around the script that I would send you. Um, we need to know this, and the uh, the it's called FASEB, you know, Federated uh, Associ Federated Association uh, Associated Sciences for Experimental Biology. FASEB is being held on February the eighth. It is now. Um, much later, <laughs> it's in a couple of days. So um, she she wants to uh, get that done as quickly as possible. If you could let me know either tonight or tomorrow morning, and I'll email you the scripted um, you know statement that's saying that it, you've been using it. You can fill in however long, and that. You know, you haven't had any side effects. You can say you've had a detox reaction, but that abated or went away or whatever. Um, I've got to write up the summary, the research summary, as a result of your your uh, a willingness to give me uh, the citations, you know, the, your, your affidavit, and I have to submit it tomorrow. So it, uh, by tomorrow night at the latest. So that would be greatly appreciated if you could do that, I'm just letting you know ahead of time. We kind of were sort of calling out of need at the moment. Uh, I just found out about an hour and a half ago that she wanted to, the scientist wanted to do that. And so I'm just letting you know if anybody wants to help us out and give us that information, that would be great. Please uh, notify, either call Kim at Customer Care or notify us by email, and we will uh, get you the uh, scripted statement. So. That's enough on that. Um, Actually, before, since we're on it, I want to, want to add one more thing. So sure. I, I know we've got new people on the call tonight, and I just want to reiterate that this is a, already a pretty remarkable thing. Um, if people understand that Enzorb is a unique product, perhaps maybe more unique than anything we've done because nobody's done this type of enzyme preparation before and, and the way it's taken and the purpose. And if you've heard this before, forgive me, but we went through an awful lot of work to get the IRB approval, the Institutional Review Board, because 
the concept of what we're doing, we already know it works because so many people have called in with such nice results, really good results. But the concept of what this is was so foreign that both the scientists we're working with and the IRB review board kept coming back and saying, well, no, that doesn't make sense. Well, no, you have to take it with food. Well, no, that's, that can't work that way. And we found enough evidence from decades ago in some cases, and as well as more recent, to get them to the point where they said, okay, all right, you guys made your point. We see that it's possible. We're going to go ahead and let this go through. So the reality is when this is done and we get the kinds of results we think we're going to get, I don't think it's, you know, hyperbole to say it's groundbreaking, Bill. I mean, I, I don't yeah, know anybody no. else that have anything right. like this. This so, is categorically yeah. groundbreaking. This is a, yes. a major paradigm shift. And just so everybody knows, the, while the enzyme, you know, some people look at labels and, and make a, a judgment of a, of a product on the basis of what it says in the label. Well, if you look at the Enzorb label, you will see protease, uh, amylase, lipase, alpha-galactosidase, glucoamylase, enzymes that would be in many other products. The difference is digestive enzymes of the same species with the same type of name work in a pH of about 2 to 5.5 generally, in, in essence disintegrating and dissolving stuff in the stomach. Um, the Enzorb enzymes, the lowest pH of biological activity that's catalyzed, you know, triggers the enzyme to start working is 6.5. So the range is about 6.5 to 8.5. Those are enzymes that get into the blood and are activated and functional starting in the mouth, but because the mouth has a pH of a, around 6.5 to 7.3, depending on, you know, time of day and what you're doing, what you have done. And then getting into the blood and really doing some amazing things in the blood. And we'll, I'll get to the end. I might start with that tonight, by the way, and have Steve to chime in on that. But there's never been an enzyme product that has been delivered with a protosome technology that gets into the blood and affects the dramatic changes uh, to metabolism and the digestive system because the blood nourishes every cell in your body. So this is, as, as Steve has understated, a, literally a dramatic breakthrough. This represents a, a, almost an earth-shattering dramatic breakthrough, which is why it took so long for the IRB um, people to get their brain wrapped around it. And before that, the research scientists. You have no idea they kept sending stuff back to us with... Um, with information that referenced traditional, conventional um, perspectives and attitudes and dogmatic concepts on enzymes. And so, as Steve has rightly said, man, this just, this just um, shattered their um, idea of what enzymes would do. So, so anyway, um, Steve, you want to begin or... Do you want to? Sure. Um, no, do we want to talk? Switch to Protovite and come back, or? Yeah, we could we could switch to Protovite for a minute because again we have new people on and a brief overview of the Protovite and why it's so unique and why we get such good results. There, there's a number of reasons. It's almost too much to go into in a short period of time. But in a nutshell, the Protovite starts off with wonderful ingredients and comprehensive formulation. We don't megadose on anything, so we allow the body to gently take in the nutrients it needs. Uh, so the key to, to this, of course, is the protosomes, which encapsulates the majority of these nutrients in these little spherical carrier transport systems, all at the same particle size. So the synergy that's created is tremendous. But again, we're all concerned about working with the body. We don't diagnose, treat, uh, prevent, cure any disease. Uh, we get people asking all the time, hey, how will this do for this disease or that disease? And we say, well, if you have a nutritional need or you're nutritionally lacking, it's going to help you. How it works on the disease is what's up to your body and what else you're doing. But so many times... Hey, Steve, people, we, we've got some comments. Steve, we've got some comments. If you'll speak up just a little bit louder. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, let me, let me switch hearing this. Yeah, let me try that if that's better. Sorry. Much, much um, better. Okay, all right. I do that just to have people ask me to talk louder. That's why I do that. 
So um, the key is, is that we are providing this, and I, I can't really think of a better term than what Bill came up with, which was the symphony of nutrition, which gets in at the same time and allows the body to pick and choose what it needs whenever it needs it so that it can begin the process of healing or maintaining health. And I was, I was about to say that there are, there are so many cases where people will take this out of the other thing, be it nutrition or drug to fix something. And what they often forget is that if they can't create a healthy foundation, then they're, it's kind of like they're sorry for the phrase spitting in the wind. Um, you can, you know, get rid of a pain for a little while or get rid of some inflammation, but if you don't help the body correct the underlying problem, it's going to come back. And our entire goal at VNI is to give your body the nutrition it needs so it can correct the underlying imbalances and take care of itself, which is the true definitive definition of natural healing uh, because we're not healing, nature is. So I'll give you very quickly uh, and then turn it over to Bill uh, there's about five or six things that happen when you take the protovite and, in reality, all the products in the protosomes. You get some sublingual absorption, certainly, with the protovite. So you immediately get a, a bit of a burst uh, of these nutrients getting into your system very quickly, and we know that's true just based on the, the clinical study we did on protovite. Secondly, when it goes into your stomach, what's well, a pretty harsh acidic environment, the protosomal spheres help protect the nutrients and get them more intact into the small intestine where most absorption takes place. Third, the tiny little spheres that are protosomes are literally discrete little spheres that number in a countless number, really, um, and you end up getting all of these nutri nutritional nu uh, compounds within the sphere spread out over a much larger surface area in the small intestine. So you literally have more area for nutrients to be absorbed throughout the small intestine which immediately is different than most other supplements. Fourth, you get a uh, kind of a stickiness that's naturally occurring from the protosome, so the material actually adheres to the wall of the small intestine for a longer period of time, which allows more of a kind of a sustained release and more opportunity for nutrients to be absorbed. And then lastly, as I mentioned, you get a uniformity of particle size, and I, I cannot overstate that enough that when these nutrients go into your system at the same time, what that affords your body. So if you need uh, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, boron, I mean, just go on and on in order to make healthy bone. Well, what happens if you're missing one or, one or two of those? Or your body hasn't been able to, to digest that and get it in the system, so you're missing one brick in the foundation and the whole process suffers. So our technology greatly overcomes those obstacles by getting the nutrients in at the same time to play that symphony. So you can see why people are coming back and saying, oh, my gosh, I, I feel better, sometimes very quickly, sometimes over a period of time. Sometimes a year later they go and they get their blood work and they go, my doctor said, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. So this is one of the reasons, and I'll, I'll turn it over to Bill so I don't put anybody to sleep, but uh, it's just <laughs> when you think about what, what we're accomplishing here and the lives that we're changing, um, I, I'm not aware and I've never seen anything else like this in the nutritional industry. So, Bill? So, that's absolutely, I mean, that's wonderful. And I'm going to switch gears and go to the um, premise of why the products, the objective of the protosome technology and I'm going to flash forward because I don't know that this was your objective back, back in the beginning when you started making absorption was your primary objective from what I understand. But we've, we've stepped up beyond just absorption to a whole different paradigm, and that paradigm is essentially attempting to mimic cell membrane and bo uh, you know, body fluid properties, biological fluid properties. And... Some of those properties, you have to remember that a cell membrane is made of these phospholipids that we're using in the protosome technology. A cell membrane is made of two phospholipids that sort of have a head and legs, and the legs connect. The head's water-loving, the legs are fat-loving, and so they connect and create what's called a phospholipid bilayer. And these cluster around and create a membrane. 
And inside a cell, you have a nucleus and a ribosomes and a Golgi apparatus and a mitochondria. And all that means is you have stuff in there that makes proteins, makes DNA and RNA, manufactures energy, et cetera, et cetera. And you, you, don't, you just don't have one of each. For example, a thumb muscle cell could have three to six mitochondria, the little power plants, the energy factories of the cell, could have three to six mitochondria per cell. A heart cell could have 600 to 1,000 mitochondria per cell. A brain cell could have um, 3,000 or 30,000. I mean, it's just an, an extraordinary um, you know, number of, of energy manufacturing organelles within a cell depending upon the energy demands of the cell. And so you get, you get a lot of, and all of these um, organelles have a phospholipid bilayer. So essentially, without duplicating, obviously, you know, God's wonderful design, what we have done is tried to mimic the what's called a multilamellar clustoidal architecture, the way, and this is on the website, but I'm giving you a, more a description of what that means, where when Steve is running this process, and he's the one that, that really created this, this phenomenon, we started to get um, much more complex um, structures, multiple of these, uh, they'd be called a liposome, multiple of these liposomes that have been impregnated and saturated with free ions and changing their energy fingerprint within a liposome and clusters of those liposomes within a liposome, up to hundreds of concentric layers, essentially mimicking the architectural properties of a cell membrane. And the water has been impregnated and therefore the phospholipids have been impregnated and saturated with free ions. The energy dynamic has been changed. The velocity of the water, we're trying to mimic blood flow, and so the composition and the ratios of ions to fluids and to cell membranes are essentially mimicking cell membrane and body fluid properties. And you know what? When you put in the protovites, mechanically predigested ingredients, Nature assembles this stuff automatically the way it, it naturally does it, mimics biological fluid and cell membrane properties. Nobody else has this. Well, how do we know that it's mimicking cell membrane properties and biological body fluid properties? Because when a production batch has been allowed to stand at room temperature for several hours, the temperature, and it, it, we don't use any heat, so it's starting at room temperature. It, it has a reaction in which the temperature rises to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit and stops. And that, that experiment, you know, when the, the production chemist called Steve the first time, he was baffled because he's been doing this for a lot of years, and he'd never, he told Steve he'd never seen anything like it. No other consumable product has ever done that. And they make thousands of, you know, liquid supplements. And that, you know, rising to body temperature never happened before. And so that's been done um, multiple times and has had the exact same reaction every time. In fact, that's part of our, uh, you know, uh, submission for the patent application. This is an extraordinary, unprecedented breakthrough technology and as Steve mentioned, we use great ingredients, you know, one-to-one -one herbal extracts, one part water, one part herb, uh, to create a, a highly potent herbal extract, uh, premium quality ingredients, and Protovite delivers exceptional benefits because we did a study, and we found out that Protovite gets into the blood 100% of the time and 100% of the people in five minutes or less and no other supplement, multi-ingredient supplement, can substantiate that claim except Protovite. It is extraordinary. Steve, you have anything else I should say about that? <laughs> nope. I think you covered it pretty well. <laughs> okay. Um, Lonnie, uh, do, you, do you think uh, it's uh, 824? Should we expound on it anymore? We've talked about the Protovite and the Enzorb, quite frankly. And Enzorb's the same 
the, the same protosome delivery technology um, is extraordinary. So uh, do you, do you want to? Well, I, I think you, you've done a, a marvelous job, Bill and Steve. I'll, I'll tell you what, uh, everyone. We don't expect anybody listening to this call to uh, absorb the level of knowledge that uh, Bill and Steve have when they have had over 65 years total combined in nutritional background. But here's, here, here's the caveat for all of us. If you go to uh, our V&I homepage, or if you go to www.y, that's www.vni.com, very simple, www.whyvni.com, you will see for yourself short videos and the long webinars, and all you need to do is send people to watch and listen to those webinars and that's proof enough. 